Hello dear students, welcome to another session in Carbohydrates. I am Durka Beri, Assistant Professor in Biochemistry. We will discuss today the isomerism in carbohydrates. You know that the carbohydrates are nothing but hydrates of carbon which contain the elements carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. And the definition of carbohydrates, we already know that they are optically active polyhydroxy aldehydes or ketones. They contain either aldehyde group or ketone group. If they contain aldehyde group, they are called as aldoses. If they contain ketone group, those sugars, those monosaccharides are called as ketoses. We already know this. We will move ahead with this introduction to the isomerism. What is isomerism? This can be defined as the compounds which have the same formula but differ in physical and chemical properties. They have the same formula. We will see that many carbohydrates are having the same formula of C6H12O6 which is the similar formula which you know for glucose as well as for fructose. These glucose and fructose are functional isomers. Glucose contains aldehyde group and fructose contains ketone group. Apart from these functional isomerism, there are different isomerisms which are exhibited in carbohydrates. They are stereoisomerism and optical isomerism. What is meant by stereo? Stereo means space. What is meant by optical? It is related to light. They differ in the rotation of the light. It is called optical isomerism. If carbohydrates differ in the arrangement of groups in space, they are said to be stereoisomers. We'll see here C6H12O6 is the similar formula for many carbohydrates. That means many carbohydrates, they contain same number of atoms, yet they are different. This is possible because of the stereoisomerism. This C6H12O6 represents around 16 monosaccharides. Among them, these monosaccharides, which you are familiar, I hope you can identify these structures, Fischer structures. The first one is I told you it is OH, OH, H, OH is nothing but glucose and this is D glucose and the second one it is OH, OH, H, H which is nothing but mannose and the last one it is galactose. Not only these three but C6H12 formula is similar for different monosaccharides like allose, altrose, glucose, mannose, gulose, edose, another one is galactose, the last one is tallose. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 monosaccharides and among them both D and L forms. Together they come around 16 carbohydrates which have the same formula of C6H12O6. They are nothing but the stereo isomers. Hope the concept is clear to you. The C6H12O6 represents 16 monosaccharide. This is due to the different arrangement of groups in space, which is called as stereo isomers. And the concept is called stereo isomerism. We will move ahead to the configuration in carbohydrates. Configuration is defined as arrangement of groups around the carbon is called configuration. For the configuration, one molecule is taken as reference molecule which is nothing but glyceraldehyde. The molecule which you are watching here is nothing but glyceraldehyde which contains only three carbons and it is the simplest aldose. Glyceraldehyde is the simplest aldose. It has three carbon atoms 
the middle carbon is asymmetric carbon or chiral carbon the asymmetric carbon is the one which is surrounded by four different groups see here these are the four different groups which are surrounding the carbon in order to see the configuration of a particular carbohydrate we take this glyceraldehyde molecule as a reference compound and we will see this asymmetric carbon on the asymmetric carbon we will look for the location of the hydroxyl group if the hydroxyl group is located towards the right side then this glyceraldehyde is said to be d-glyceraldehyde if the hydroxyl group is towards the left side of the asymmetric carbon like the one which i am drawing this glyceraldehyde is said to be l glyceraldehyde hope the concept is clear to you configuration is nothing but arrangement of groups around the carbon for which in carbohydrates the reference molecule that is taken is glyceraldehyde in the glyceraldehyde if the hydroxyl group projects towards the right side then that glyceraldehyde is said to be d glyceraldehyde capital d and if the hydroxyl group projects towards the left side it is said to be l glyceraldehyde this figure hope it is clear to you the left side it is what type of glyceraldehyde is this yes this is d glyceraldehyde why you said it is d glyceraldehyde because the hydroxyl group is projected towards the right side hence it is d glyceraldehyde then look at the structure on the right side what type of glyceraldehyde is this one yes this is called l glyceraldehyde why it is l because the hydroxyl group projected towards the left side then it is said to be l glyceraldehyde this is only referring to the configuration configuration is nothing but arrangement of groups around the carbon it has nothing to do with the rotation but it is used to denote the carbohydrates into two large series capital d series and capital l series sometimes the d sugars may be levorotatory for example if we take the fructose it is in d configuration but it is levorotatory and the concept of stereoisomerism refers to the molecules containing the same formula but having different spatial arrangements because of which though they have the formula of c6h12o6 we have 16 monosaccharides with the same formula stay on this particular slide for a moment answer these top four questions in the comment box thanks for watching till the end post your comments or queries if you like this session do like and don't forget to subscribe and share this video among your friends